Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 6th of July 2019. We're going to reflect on Matthew 9, 14 to 17. Listen. Then the disciples of John came to Jesus saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak, for the patch pulls away from the cloak, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wineskins. Otherwise the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But the new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. If you've ever tried to strengthen the muscles in your body, you would know that it can't happen without physical exercise. Similarly, to strengthen our spiritual muscles, we need to engage in spiritual exercise, and there are no better routines than prayer and fasting. There are numerous instances of people praying and fasting in the Bible. When individuals fasted, it was usually for a specific purpose, as with these people I'm going to talk about. You might recall that Moses fasted before receiving the Ten Commandments. Elijah fasted when he was in physical danger from Ahab and Jezebel. Daniel fasted when he needed revelation from God and answers to his prayer. Esther fasted for the safety of the Jews. And of course, Jesus fasted before embarking on his earthly ministry. When communities fasted, it was usually for repentance. But I'd like to talk about fasting as a way of developing spiritual fortitude. Paul did that a lot, and this is the reason he gives. I paraphrase. You know that in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes undergoes training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, he says, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I tame my body and make it my slave so that I will receive the prize. Now, food is something that is needed for life. Sin is not. Now, when we are able to say no to something that is needed for life, we help build up our ability to say no to the things that are detrimental to life. Let us remember that effort does not nullify grace. Trying to earn it does. And there is nobody who will put in as much effort as someone saved by grace. Would you like to join me on a simple fast on Monday? Skip all solids from 7 in the morning to 7 in the evening. Have all the liquids you want. And every time you feel a little hungry, tell God to deepen your hunger for his word and keep telling him that until your hunger pains subside. See how good you will feel at the end of the day. The following week, we'll do this for two days, Monday and Tuesday. I'll remind you. Happy muscle building. God bless you.